I'm going to show you how you can automatically add the username and the date to a copied worksheet in Excel. I was approached by a, a firm today and they have uh, a template. I don't know whether it's an invoice or whatever, but they need to know who's copying it and what date they're copying it on. And so when they have it copied, they would like to have that attached to the file name. So I will show you how I'm doing it. And so we'll go copy invoice. And then, so my username is SCREA and today is uh, July 10th. So let's look at my files. And so here we go, S-C-R-E-A is my username and I have a space and I have July, uh, July 10th. Now, let me show you the code on how I'm doing this. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. And so, and so I've called it um, sub name it. And I've defined username as string and row as long, my dad as workbook, path as string, file name as string. And with uh, worksheets, invoice selected, so that's my template. Username, and this is how you determine the username, equals um, environment with environment with not well without the invent and with a dollar sign, and then brackets username. And um, new file, so I'm naming the new file as username, an ampersand, um, quotation marks, two spaces, an ampersand. And now this is important. I was stuck on this for a little bit. For We put the date in here, but I have to include the format so that there's no backslashes in the format because that will, that will mess up, um, that, that will mess up the date the, the name of the file if it has backslashes in the, the format of the date. So I selected this format of the date. And then the path is a path that I'm for, for invoices on my desktop. And so here's the path. And of course, how I do that, how I get that is I open up the folder that I want to get it from. I click on here, I copy it, and then um, I make sure I have an ending backslash and an ending quotation marks, and that's how it is. Worksheets invoice, so that's the invoice, that's the worksheet name, copy. Application displays, display alerts, false. I don't want it telling me that um, I've got something else going on. With active workbook, save as file name, and so we have file name equals the path, which is what I've described here. and and then the new file, which is my username and the date. And the file format is Excel workbook, uh, open Excel or Excel open Excel M workbook. And then it says uh, dot close save changes equals false. And then end width. And then I turn my, um, my display alerts back on. And so that is basically how I do it. I will, of course, include the, this code in the description of my video. So that is how you automatically copy files and then putting that include the username and the date in the in the copy files title. Please subscribe.